Hello everyone, this is Farid Primani once again with Ignite the Spark series and we're trying to bring up different questions which are usually coming through tweets, Facebook group or usually common questions that helps you get to the next level and the big question is uh, why we don't get successful, why we don't become successful. It's not that people don't try, people try but there are different thoughts and sometimes we try to give things on the fortune, we try to say that we are not very lucky and sometimes then we start comparing ourselves with others that you know other people get very fortunate they are lucky they are born with the golden spoon and we work as hard as them but we never get what we want to and the others achieve it very quickly so i would like to bring you to quick scientific facts from achievers motivational speakers leaders having tony robbins say something about success and then let's compare it from sacred books and regardless of any religion i'll put a quotation or wisdom from quran gita bible and let's see how divine helps us divine guides us we respect every religion every religion is sacred and uh, let's see how it helps us become successful and then trying to sum up the thoughts and it's your skills and it's your psychology and i found it's 80 percent psychology and 20 percent skills you got but really, most importantly, you got to get it through what I call the threshold of control. And this, to me, is the secret to really succeeding in business. And it's pretty simplistic. Uh, how many of you uh, snowboard or ski? Anybody out there snowboard or ski? Give me a sense. So if you're, most people are terminally intermediate when they get in that sport, right? <laughs> you know, they, they, they really never get that good. They're not really of a long, they're kind of you know, in the middle and they never get much better. And I think the reason is they never push themselves beyond what they can handle right? Uh, you're, you're used to greens or blues and you find yourself on a double black and what happens? Everything inside you freaks out because you're past what I call the threshold of control, your comfort zone. And you important connotation here by Tony Robbins that we sometimes try to take success in unidirectional way but most of the time the problem is when we want to become successful we are trying to be different than the traditional audience, right? We are trying to start up our own business, do a startup, be a freelancer, which is like a mini entrepreneur, I usually term it. The problem is when you're working as a professional, you don't have to test yourself into that fear level, which Tony Robbins here is mentioning. And if you try to just Google why everybody will not be successful, because Google has a database of about millions of data science points. And trying to run a report on that, I tried to converge to six points from all these tons of philosophers, authors, the solutions there that why people are not successful. And I'll try to mark six of them. The first of that is the same thing which Tony Robbins mentioned, it's the fear of failure. So, you know, trying to see why we don't become successful, the back of mind, the problem is fear of failure. Although we might not be trying to recognize that we have a sense of failure, but yes, we have a sense of fear of failure at the back. So you need to pause and you need to see if really you are being failing and you have failed a lot of times and still you are not being ready and eager to start back. Your fear of failure is trying to stop you to become non-traditional because the, till the time you keep on doing same things what others have done, your results will be minimal. And if you really want to be extraordinary, you have to try extraordinary things. And that's where fear of failure or change stops you. The second pointer that we realize here is lack of purpose. When people don't have lack of purpose, they are just trying to become entrepreneurs, starters, and they don't have a mission statement at the back, which really drives them. They will be through turbulence. They will be through hit and trials. And that's where having no purpose will actually let you give up very quickly because you don't make money in the initial days. That will follow as you go out for the workout, you don't start seeing results. Till you reach the threshold point so threshold is very important at that point if you have a purpose that will actually help you so that's number two after fear the failures there's a brilliant quote here from bhagavad gita and that says if your purpose is not bigger than fear that means you need to change the purpose right so we got to the back of finishing line that, okay, last time we became unsuccessful or we stopped, what was the reason? Did we had any fear? Yes. Did we had a purpose? No clear cut answer. If we had a purpose and still we failed, this means we need to change, think big, like people say. So now we are getting resonance 
and we are trying to research the subject and understand from a different perspective as traditional things about success we hear every day okay second pointer is from bible if so do not fear for i am with you god says that i am with you do not fear do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand so god says for those who are hard working i am there you know i am there to help you you need to have faith in that and once you have that faith you will get an internal strength and every religion teaches that that you know those who are hard working honest trying to do something god is with them you know so they you will get an extra strength if you believe in that right so fear of failure having a purpose and having faith in your god whichever religion you follow or not but need to have faith firm faith in god and the third point is in quran it says that we will test you in fear so god says that we will test you in fear okay he will purposely put fear in you to test you why hunger loss of wealth life and the fruits but giving glad tidings to patience those people who are patient now let's connect all three divine sayings with science you know those who ski and those who stop when they stop and are not patient they will lose right so fear will come in any walk of life whether it's a sports whether you are trying to walk extra mile whether you are trying to achieve and be a trend setter do something big that point in life you have to decide whether you will stuck your skiing rod and say okay that was enough for me i don't want to die i don't want to complete that i cannot do that same happens with business or you say that fear is common i will get it god has said it to me any religion you follow but if i get through it the fruits will be abundance and having a faith that somebody is holding my right hand and will be with me to get out of this and then every religion says that people who are patient people who have patience they get the rewards so i hope this lesson which was different than the traditional way of looking at success from three four different points of reference would help you once again this is farid pramani so now not let your success be stopped by fear and not let your be fear stop you if you don't have a purpose and a bigger purpose right hope this help farid pramani waiting that this part thank you bye